Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace, beware. Stony Ridge Farm. Oh, what a pretty little car that I got screwed on. Guys, welcome back to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. Today's video is gonna be different than anything we've done in the last six years. I got screwed on Facebook Marketplace on this vehicle right here, and I'm gonna tell you the whole story today, and I hope you can learn something and take something home from this so that you don't get screwed too. This was bad. As I walk around this truck, van, car, whatever you wanna call it, toaster, rolling toaster, I want you guys to understand what happened and I also want to plant this seed in your head. If you're looking for a premium vehicle like this and I am in no way affiliated with Bring a Trailer, look on Bring a Trailer. That is a reputable site. Do not, do not, do not trust everyone on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or any other jack leg off the wall site where just anyone can publish an automobile classified ad. This was getting screwed. Now, from a distance, you can see this vehicle. I'm gonna walk around it a little bit. It looks absolutely pristine. The paint looks beautiful. Guess why the paint looks beautiful? Because it was repainted very, very, very recently. When I showed up, and I'll tell you how all this went down, I contacted this fella, he lives in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm not gonna give his name to anyone, but I will say if you live in the Atlanta area, go see the vehicle before you hand the cash over, okay? What I did was I saw this vehicle, it popped up on my Facebook marketplace and I'm always combing the web for a nice low mile Honda Element and this is probably the lowest mileage Honda Element in the continental United States. Again, 29,000 miles on a 2007, it runs impeccably. It is a little bit loud. Why is it loud? Because someone stole the catalytic converter out from in this thing. Someone also stole the catalytic converter from my other one. This is one of the most common catalytic converters stolen because the vehicle sits up high and it's got a ton of platinum in it evidently. The new catalytic converter for this cost over $2,500 from Honda. Looking under the vehicle after discussing this with this guy, well, let's, let's hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I got on the phone with this person and I talked to them. They were super, super nice. So people that drive these are either super nice or super old, right? <laughs> they're either hippies, they have a lot of dogs, or they're super old. I assumed that this guy was nice and he was genuine and he seemed nice. I sat down and I talked with the guy for at least an hour once I got there. But when this vehicle pulled up, the first thing I noticed, and we walked around it and, and talked about it, and I bought a plane ticket from Greensboro, North Carolina to Atlanta, Georgia, a one-way ticket to drive this critter back. The price I negotiated down with him was over $15,000, okay? This thing cost about nineteen dollars to $20,000, brand spanking new. It's four-wheel drive, it's an EX model, has a sunroof on the back of it, which is kind of strange, but it's still kind of cool. The roof is totally ruined. We'll talk a little bit more about that. So, I have the money and I'm sitting in the parking lot and I'm waiting for them to pull in. They pull up, it looks absolutely beautiful from about 30 feet. Then I walk up to it and I see this. This is bad paintwork. This is going to chip. This is bad paintwork. It is dirty. It was painted over nastiness, okay? This is bad paintwork. I saw that it had been repainted. If it's been repainted, that's fine. You wouldn't expect a vehicle with 27,000 miles on it to need a repaint. However, it's a 2007 and I understand that, okay? Totally understand it. This is the original color right here and it's not cleared up under here where this plastic piece was, which brings us to this plastic piece. We are missing clips that hold this A-pillar plastic piece in place and three minutes after I hit the highway, this piece blew off. The guy stood by it. He sent me the piece and he already sent me the clips to repair that. Thank you, thank you very much. That's why I'm not gonna call you by name. So, looking over the vehicle again, I'm opening the doors and I'm seeing it and he never mentioned that it had had a repaint. Never mentioned it, never even thought about mentioning it, okay? As we look down the side of this, you see orange peel and you'll get some video clips of orange peel and what that looks like. If we pop this open right here, we look inside. This is normally not clear coated, okay? 
I know that because I know these vehicles inside and out. There's trash in there that's been painted over, okay? I know that. I know these vehicles inside and out. This was what really, really got me. On the window right here, and we'll get you some close-up footage. On the window right there, there is sanding marks. They sanded up on the glass all the way down through here. On the front glass, no sand marks. But everything that met a body panel flush has swirl marks in it where they sanded down into the glass. That's why I have a third one coming because I'm going to replace the glass. If you look right here, you see overspray overspray all over the trim work right here okay see that you also see paint work right here you also see a little bit of trash in the paint right here but this is factory this is the factory paint this is unmolested this looks absolutely fantastic looks great guys no overspray no issues until we get over here and we start rubbing that you hear it that's the sound of rubbing on rough paint overspray overspray everywhere overspray here right in there, and buffing compound all over the vehicle. It's all over the vehicle, it's all over the mirrors. The mirrors are kind of cloudy, and that is overspray on that. That's why that mirror looks a little bit cloudy. This guy, or this vehicle, has a Carfax. I'm gonna show you the Carfax right now. It has an absolutely impeccably clean Carfax, no accidents reported, no damage reported ever, service records all the way back from to 25,000 miles. Evidently, at some point between now and 25,000 miles, this vehicle was hailed upon. This was a hail damaged, and I don't know if it was a flood damaged vehicle or not, but it was a hail damaged vehicle. It came out of Georgia. There's no rust underneath it. The running gear is absolutely impeccable. Aside from the catalytic converter got stolen, and what did they replace it with? They replaced it with a Toyota Corolla catalytic converter. This person acted like they didn't know. So when I asked them, does it have the original converter? What do they say? I don't know. Let me take a look underneath. You know you sell only Honda Elements and you absolutely knew it. You knew it before you looked underneath. You're lying to me. As we look at it, I'm walking around the backside and I happen to see, what in the heck is this? Dink, 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 dink. All over the rooftop of this vehicle is hail damage. That's why it was repainted. So my assumption is that a little old lady probably owned it. And they did some research on the previous owner and found out she was an older lady. She owned it. She only drove it just a few thousand miles a year, putt-putted around. It's been very well taken care of, super nice in the inside, but at some point it received hail damage. It received hail damage and it set on a lot somewhere. Let's grab the Carfax and see when the last oil change was or when the last service record was. I'll just pop it out right quick. And this brings me to the point that Carfax don't matter. Sometimes Carfax does not matter. If there was no insurance claim or this wasn't taken to a body shop that reported it to Carfax, then who knows what happened. So I'm looking at the last known service record. Last known service record was Georgia inspection at 25 on 121421, past emissions and inspection in Georgia. Registration issued vehicle color noted as blue on 21422. Between 121421 and 1923, title issued, updated, or corrected vehicle color noted as blue. Why? What what are we having here? What is going on here? So sometime between from 25150 to 25683, sometime within this time frame right here, within a one year period, there was a hailstorm. And this vehicle was damaged in that hailstorm. So let me tell you, when I talked to the person, they were super excited about what a high quality element it is. I said, is it a show car? He said, no, it's not a show car. I don't want you to think it's a show car. It's got some dings. It's got some nicks. It's not totally perfect. It's not a show car. Okay. I understand it's not a show car. I didn't ask if it had been repainted. Why didn't I ask if it had been repainted? If I would have known this had been repainted, I wouldn't have bought it. Does it have any damage? This guy is a Honda element person, right? How in the heck did they miss 
the whole rooftop is completely trashed with hail damage all over it. And there's Bondo work right here. There's a missing piece right here where the roof rack went. This is horrible. This is Bondo. This is body filler. There is body filler in this door. There is body filler in this door. So from what I can gather, this vehicle was damaged by hail. Someone bought it cheaply from the original owner and put it on a lot or in a paint lot. In other words, where it was waiting to get painted, repainted by a company such as Mako, or this gentleman repainted it in his own backyard. Because Mako, I don't care what kind of quality you're looking for, Mako doesn't do that, okay? That is jack leg work. Mako doesn't do this. Mako doesn't make the roof look that horrible and doesn't showcase that Bondo. Underneath the hood right here, and I'll show you some footage right there, it's clean as a whistle. There are a few things that have been taken loose, a wire that's loose, and also it has a triple A battery in it. Why would it have a triple A battery in it? And look at the date on the triple A battery. It's basically a dead giveaway as to this thing was bought, triple A was called, they dropped a battery in it, and then they drove it home. It went through a sale, an automotive sale, and the gentleman I bought it from probably bought it for about 4,500 to 5,500 bucks with 27,000 miles. It's most certainly not a throwaway vehicle at that point. It's all wheel drive. These things have a big time following. However, he was dishonest to me. So my take home message to you is simply this. Don't trust the Carfax. And I think that there's some repercussions with Carfax. I'm gonna look into that guys. If you know anything about that, it's Carfax guarantee. If you know anything about that, I think they have a buyback guarantee. If you know anything about it, post it down there in the comments. Tell me what you guys think. Have you been through a similar situation? Now, this person was super nice. They were nice enough to send this piece of molding back to me, but I flew to Atlanta to pick up a premium vehicle and I did not have a premium vehicle. As soon as I said, man, it's got hail damage on the roof. It's beat up. We got to adjust our price for this. They said, well, we knocked out the price, $2,000 for you so you can go fix it yourself or we can just refund you your money and you can go on about your way. I was quite taken back by that. You don't understand that I flew down here to buy this vehicle that you shared with me that was a premium vehicle. I'm not being too nitpicky. I paid through the nose for this thing, guys. I paid through the nose for it. I was stuck there and had to make a split second decision whether to take my money back, call an Uber, go to a rental car agency and drive a rental car back home, buy another flight back home. And I flew on my frequent flyer miles, so it only cost me five bucks to fly down, but it would have cost me 700 to fly back. Should I have bought it and saved the money? I know it's a low mile vehicle. I trust that part. I don't trust the jack leg work that's been done to it. So I thought I was getting something super ultra premium and I didn't. There's Bondo and body work right here. It's odd. Each one of these fenders, each one of the body panels, each piece on this vehicle has the original serial number on it. So if you're looking at a Honda Element or you're looking at most vehicles, you can see the original VIN number is attached to or affixed to each body panel. Every one of them matched. They all matched because they're all full of Bondo. This thing got the snot beat out of it in a hailstorm. Somebody put a cheap crappy paint job on it. They posted it up on Facebook Marketplace. I went down, I forked out the money, I took a risk, I flew to Atlanta to buy it, and they basically threatened to say, well, if you don't want it, we got people lined up to buy it. So you can just go on home. You can go on and get. Guys, look, if you want a premium vehicle like this, you want to spend the money, look on something like Bring a Trailer. I probably could have bought this very same vehicle on Bring a Trailer for around about the same price, and that is a trusted site. This is not a promo for Bring a Trailer. I've just seen the quality of vehicles, and a good friend of mine has bought three vehicles on Bring a Trailer. He's a car collector. That is a reputable site. Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace, beware. I got screwed and if you're watching this right now if you're the guy that sold it to me i'm not going to call you out by name you know it deep in your heart you know it and you've got to live with it that you screwed me you totally screwed me on this vehicle 
it had hail damage on the roof and you knew about it and you can't play games and act like you didn't know about it. If you bought it and you know Honda Elements and your specialty is Honda Elements, you knew about it. You knew about the bodywork, you knew about the AAA battery and you knew that it had a Corolla catalytic converter stuffed up underneath it. You did me wrong, you did me dirty, but it's a lesson learned, a very good lesson learned by me and a good lesson to pass on to you guys so that you don't get screwed too. Guys, thank you so much for watching me here on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. I just wanted to share my experience with you so that it doesn't happen to you. I don't